Greensboro College Music Department is preparing to put on quite the show. This Friday and Saturday, they're hosting their Spring Opera Workshop performances. Admission is free and it's open to the public. Great. All right, so joining us now is Dr. Jane McKinney, the director of the Opera Workshop there at Greensboro College. Good morning, thank you for being here. Good morning, thank you for allowing me to be here. Absolutely, so tell us what this experience is like for students. Well, uh, of course, we have undergraduates as an undergraduate college mainly. Uh, and in the music department, we, we're preparing singers uh, uh, to maybe teach someday or to perform. We have some singers who've gone on to, to opera careers. Uh, we're very proud of them. But the reason we do, and I have a phone call and I'm gonna turn that right off. Uh, the reason we do this, we have opera workshop when, when a freshman comes in, uh, they have a good voice, but, but they're very timid or their, their singing is very stiff. Opera Workshop gives them a chance to study a role uh, and become more expressive to think about body movement actions. Uh, and it gives them, uh, it compels them to begin to act. So it's a great experience for them. By the time they're seniors, they're really doing well. Uh, so that's that's what we're doing with the opera workshop, taking our, our voice majors and our voice minors and giving them experience. Um, so I think this this comic opera will show that this weekend. OK, well, talk about this, these performances that you're going to be putting on this weekend. I understand it's by Mozart. Oh, yes, it is. Um, as you know, Amadeus Mozart was a very prolific composer. He wrote everything. It was just amazing what he wrote in his his a short life. Uh, and opera was his operas are wonderful. Uh, there are some tragic operas, but he I especially love his comic operas. And this is this is one opera, the Impresario, that is accessible to younger students. Now the roles. Um, some singers think that that uh, Mozart didn't like sopranos very much because he, he made some difficult parts for for female singers uh but but this is still accessible to young people uh so so mozart uh loved to pit sopranos against each other and and in some of his his later uh later operas did the same thing in this one he pits a young singer young opera singer against a, an older singer that's, that's sung for 30 years. And the old gal stop trying to stay in the game and the young one mm -hmm. uh, is not quite mature enough. So they pretty much battle on stage and it's, it's very exciting to hear them sing. Uh, in this opera, this year we decided to bring in some, some of our alums who are very good singers. Um, uh, for instance, we have, um, we have a student who's a senior now who's from, from Michigan, and she studied with one of our alumni who graduated in 1998, who's a very fine singer and has a studio in Detroit, Michigan. And so we're bringing her former teacher to sing the role against her. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very exciting to pit those two against each other. Um, having the alums come in who are, are trained and have had a lot of experience gives examples for our younger students of, of what they want to do and and they see their acting and and it, it just elevates the whole performance so we're very excited about what's going to happen uh with this opera it's funny it was funny back in 1786 when it first premiered and it's still funny today in 2004 so uh, i think that people will enjoy it and it's a good place for a comic opera like this is a good place for someone that's not really um used to, to opera to come and see because they'll find th things in it that they didn't, you know, a lot of people think that opera is very stiff mm -hmm. and too formal. Well, this is funny. This is fun. Okay. And there's beautiful singing. Well, certainly will be a great introduction this weekend. Thanks so much for your time, Jane. And once again, here's the information on your screen. The spring opera workshop performances are this Friday and Saturday. Both will begin at 7.30 p.m. on their respective days inside the Gail Brower Huggins Performance Center that's located on the campus of Greensboro College. To learn more, just visit greensboro.edu.